Welcome to Shri RSC classes. So today we will learn about subtraction of decimal numbers. So the rule is very simple. As you know, whenever we were doing the column subtraction, we were starting from the right hand side, that is the ones column. But here, because this is a decimal number, so we cannot guarantee that the number will always start from the ones column. Because it's a decimal number, so it can either start with the tenths column, hundredths column, or any any digit or any column it can start with. But so the rule is we can always start from the right hand side. So let's do it together. So if we look at the right hand side, we are having a seven, and we need to take away five from that. So seven take away five is two. So we will put two and then here. And then the next one is three take away two. So three take away two is one. Always remember, whenever you are working with a decimal number, you need to align the decimal properly. That is very important. So we have aligned the decimal properly in the answer. Now let's move on to the next column. In the next column, we have six. Take away 4, which is going to be 2. In the last column, we have 5 take away 3, which is again 2. That means the answer is going to be 22.12. Alright, let's try another question like that. So, again, we will be starting from the right hand side. So, here we can see this is 3 take away 2. So, 3 take away 2 is 1. Then we have 7 take away 6, which is also 1. Then we have 6 take away 5, which is also 1. Now again, here is a decimal. So, we need to align the decimal properly. It's very important. Now, let's move on to the next column, which is 4 take away 4, which is going to be 0. Then this is 9 take away 3, which is going to be 6. That means the answer is going to be 60.111. Alright, I hope you have understood the method and I also hope that you like the video. Thank you so much.